let us assume a special state of stress called as plain stress. For simplicity I do not want to do multiply all 3 by 3 it has stress sensor to see what happens. So, I am restricting myself to plane stress which means the definition of plane stress is determinant of the stress matrix would be 0 for a plane stress. In other words sigma can be written as sigma xx, sigma xy, 0, sigma xy, sigma yy, 0, 0, 0, 0. I have one row and one column of zeros. I have one column and one row of zeros indicating me that the determinant of the sigma will be 0 and this represents a plane stress state. Okay. Now, I have used here sigma xy equal to sigma yx, y we will see later. For simplification I have assumed this and this holds true, okay. we will see the reason for this later why sigma xy is sigma yx. Okay. Now, I have got q, I have got sigma, now let us go and substitute and find sigma star. I want to find sigma star, so I have to do a q transpose, q transpose would be cos theta minus sin theta. 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 1 multiplied by sigma xx sigma xy 0 sigma xy sigma yy 0 0 0 0, 0 into cos theta minus sin theta 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 1 this is q. So, let us first do these two multiplication what will I get then I will get sigma xx cos theta again going back to the second lecture sigma xy sin theta minus sigma xx sin theta plus sigma xy cos theta 0 sigma xy cos theta plus sigma yy sin theta minus sigma xy sin theta plus sigma yy cos theta 0 0 0 0. Now, when I multiply this matrix with this Q transpose matrix, I will get sigma x star x star, sigma x star y star, y star, sigma y star y star 0, 0, 0, 0, this matrix to be. sigma xx cos square theta plus sigma yy sin square theta plus 2 times sigma xy cos theta sin theta. Okay. That will be the first term this the second term would be this multiplied with this column. So, that will be sigma xy cos square theta minus sin square theta plus sigma xx minus sigma xx okay. it will be plus sigma yy into sigma yy minus sigma xx into cos theta sin theta okay. and the third component is going to be 0. Similarly, here this is going to be sigma xy into cos square theta minus sin square theta plus sigma yy minus sigma xx into cos theta sin theta 
and the second term here is going to be sigma x x sin square theta plus sigma y y cos square theta minus 2 times sigma x y cos theta sin theta 0 0 0 0 ok. Now, I am equating these two matrices, I am equating these two matrices to see what is happening. I am equating these two matrices to find that sigma x star x star is going to be sigma x x cos square theta plus sigma y y sin square theta plus 2 times sigma x y cos theta sin theta ok. This using the trigonometric identities can be written as sigma x x plus sigma y y by 2 plus sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 cos 2 theta plus sigma x y sin 2 theta where I have used the fact that cos square theta is 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 and sin square theta is 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 and sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta by 2 ok. Similarly, sigma x star y star would be sigma x y cos square theta minus sin square theta plus sigma y y minus sigma x x into cos theta sin theta which will simplify to sigma x y cos 2 theta plus sigma y y minus sigma x x by 2 sin 2 theta ok. Finally, sigma y star y star would be sigma x x sin square theta plus sigma y y cos square theta minus 2 sigma x y cos theta sin theta will simplify to sigma x x plus sigma y y by 2 plus sigma y y minus sigma x x by 2 cos 2 theta minus sigma x y sin 2 theta ok. Now, before moving further we want to observe a few things we can observe that sigma x star x star plus sigma y star y star is equal to sigma x x plus sigma y y that is trace of sigma ok. The straight forward to see here the cos 2 theta terms have a negative sign this is sigma x x minus sigma y y here is sigma y y minus sigma x x. So, this will get cancelled similarly sin 2 theta terms get cancelled and hence you have this observation. The second observation is sigma x star x star squared plus sigma y star y star squared plus 2 times sigma x star y star squared will be same as sigma x x square plus sigma y y square plus 2 times sigma x y square this is nothing but trace of sigma square ok. Now, trace of sigma square is nothing but sigma square will be nothing but for the assumed matrix you can compute this and see sigma x x square plus sigma x y square sigma 
x x into sigma x y plus sigma y y to sigma x y 0 sigma x y into sigma x x plus sigma y y sigma y y square plus sigma x y square 0 0 0 0 ok. So, trace of this would be what I have given here ok. Now, to see this what I do is I have to square and simplify ok. I leave it as an exercise for you to show that ok. So, you can show that this holds these two relationship hold and of course, you know that determinant of sigma is same as determinant of sigma star. So, this is 0 both of them are ok. So, what this means is there are certain quantities like trace of sigma, trace of sigma square that do not change with the coordinate system ok. The components sigma x x or sigma x r x r will change the coordinate system, but these components trace of sigma, trace of sigma square, determinant of sigma does not depend on the coordinate system and these are called as the invariance of the stress tensor ok. Trace sigma trace sigma square determinant of sigma are called as invariance of stress ok. Because these do not depend on the coordinate system that is used to represent the stress sensor ok. So, what you have seen is we have seen that for a plane stress when I change the coordinate system when I rotate the coordinate system by an angle theta in the anti clockwise direction how does the components of the stresses change these quantities sigma x star x star x star y star and y star y star ok. There are a couple of observations we have to make before we end this lecture the observations are the following first thing is I look at this equation sigma x star x star minus sigma x x plus sigma y y by 2 the old squared plus sigma x star y star squared. I want to compute this based on the equation that we had before. Based on these equations I want to compute sigma x star x star minus x star x star minus sigma x x plus sigma y y by 2 square this term and add them you can see that it is cos square plus sin square theta. So, that will be 1 if I square them and the other term 2 a b term will get cancelled because this is negative of the other these two are negative of the other ok. So, what you will find is I leave the algebra for you to do you will find that this is nothing but sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 the old square plus sigma x y squared. Now, what does this equation represent? This equation represents something like x minus x naught squared plus y square equal to r square. This is equation of a circle of radius r centered about x naught comma 0 ok. So, we will draw this circle and interpret what the circle means in the next lecture, but before stopping for today I want you to observe that sigma y star y star and sigma x star x star. If I rotate it by 90 degrees if I rotate the coordinate system by 180 by 90 degrees if I rotate the coordinate system by 90 degrees you will find that uh, sigma x star x star becomes sigma y star y star ok. That is let us say I, I, I want replace theta with alpha plus pi by 2 ok. Now, what happens in sigma x star x star relation? 
I will get sigma x star x star as sigma x x plus sigma y y by 2 plus sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 into cosine of 2 times alpha plus pi by 2 plus sigma x y sin of 2 times alpha plus pi by 2. Okay. Now, this is nothing but 2 alpha plus sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2, 2 alpha plus pi, 2 alpha plus pi is minus cosine of 2 alpha and this is 2 alpha plus pi again that will be minus sigma x y sin of 2 alpha. Okay. So, if I replace this what I get is sigma x star x star becomes sigma y star y star with alpha as the angle replaced in with theta replaced by alpha in sigma y star y star expression. Okay. Now, let us understand why this is happening in the next class it will be clear when we draw the Mohr circle equation. Okay. When you plot this, this will become clear why this happens. Okay. Just observe that this is nothing but by 2 will be sigma y star y star. Okay. So, we will conclude the lecture here for today. We will start from the Mohr circle equation in the next class. What you have seen in today's lecture is basically what are the meaning of the components of a stress sensor mean, how do you get the components of the stress sensor and what happens when the coordinate system changes to the components of the stress sensor. Thank you.